What's going on guys? Today I am getting the bed frame built. I've got half of it done and in the truck. So this will basically be a bench um, with storage underneath that'll fold into a bed. So we'll have this exact thing on this side, which I'll show you in this video, just kind of step by step how I built this one. Um, and then hopefully we'll get that in and it'll all kind of fit together smoothly. So I've got it drawn up on SketchUp. This is what I went off of when I built the other one. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Basically for the design, I find like the outer dimensions that I want and then just start drawing in like the two by twos. So basically I'll make this front piece and then make the back piece and then all these pieces across the top and the bottom to uh, tie those two together. Um, and it's pretty straightforward because these are all the same size. Got those cut out, ready to go. And I'll point out that uh, these that are doubled up are the ones that are going to be holding those brackets. So I didn't want to just use one because, you know, it might not be strong enough. Um, and I could have used a two by two as well, but it was easier to just buy all, or I could have used a two by four, I mean, um, but it was easier to buy all two by twos. So I just went with that and uh, doubled them up like that. So I'll get those screwed in and then get the next ones cut for the backside and then all the pieces to attach them together. I am trying to go kind of quick only because it's evening time and I don't have a ton of light or sunlight left. So hopefully I don't just glaze over something important. And using two and a half inch screws to uh, hold this all together. For these pieces going in the middle of these uh, five foot two by twos, um, I do have them marked on the computer. I'll pull it up on SketchUp just to figure out like where I was putting those because I know this, the single one in the middle is going to be centered and uh, I can't remember off the top of my head where the sets of twos are gonna sit, but I just pull it up and then mark the spot. That piece is good to go. Come back over to the computer and spin this around. So the next piece I'm gonna make is this here. So it looks like uh, two of whatever that length is, two of whatever that length is, and three run across. There was no way I was gonna remember all of those. <laughs> I didn't wanna keep going back and forth to the computer. So I just wrote down all the measurements I need to cut for the back piece. There's the basic layout for that back piece. So same deal as the front, um, pre-drill all the holes, screw them together. It's pretty straightforward. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, besides just trying to, you know, make sure all these edges are squared um, because, you know, if a bunch of small little edges are off, then in the long run, the whole thing is gonna not be squared. So just keeping an eye on that besides that. Um, I am almost out of screws, so we'll see how far I get, but we'll be finishing up tomorrow anyways. So I'll show you how it looks when it's screwed together. I had exactly enough screws to get that last piece put together, um, except there's a measurement wrong in here because it's warped. I didn't cut something right, but I'll fix that. Since I have no more screws, I mean, I'll go get some, but by the time I get there and back, um, won't have a whole lot of daylight left. So instead, I'm gonna get all of these uh, cross pieces cut. So that way tomorrow when I have screws and I'm ready to put the rest of it together, 
Um, those are all ready to go and we can get these two pieces attached. So let's fast forward to tomorrow. And we're back with a whole bunch of screws. So I am ready to go to get all these uh, cross pieces in and that should kind of square things up. I know like this board is a little bit warped. I don't know how well you can see that, but some of them just have a little bit of a curve to them. Um, but since all of these pieces are the same length, that should kind of square everything up nicely. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, same deal with these as with everything else, pre-drill, try and you know, make sure each individual piece is squared up and uh, that's all there is to it. So let's get them in. A couple of these I had to check the uh, design for because they're not lined up with the supports in the front um, just because of the way that everything kind of came together anyway so I marked them when I screwed them in on the other side and I'm just double checking them as I go to make sure that they're lined up and that everything is parallel and squared I should also say I don't actually need these lined up when I'm pre-drilling them because the drill bit only goes through the top board. Uh, it doesn't go into this support, so they can just kind of be wherever. And then I'll line it up, kneel on it, because that works great for putting some pressure there, and it holds it in place. So the next thing I need to do, this open section right here is where the wheel well is. And I have a, a frame design that'll kind of go around that. So coming back over to the computer, I need to get all these small dimensions in here for that box that'll go around the wheel well. Um, so I'll get those measurements jotted down on a piece of paper and then uh, get those cut out over here. And eventually that box around the wheel well will get insulated because right now there is no insulation around that piece of metal. So that should help with uh, temperature control. still have uh, these two pieces here that I need to get in. One of them's gonna go here and the other one probably right there. Not everything is perfectly lined up. Like I was saying how it's kind of warped. Once I screw those in it, you know, every time I put another piece in, it kind of uh, pulls it in the right direction, helps it be a little more square. So it should turn out fine. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the face piece cut for here. Um, so on this one, it's like this piece sitting under here. This is a quarter inch plywood that I'm using and I've already marked my line. So this one was cut to length when I cut the other one. That's already in there. Um, so it's already five feet long. Now I just need to cut it to the width. It's like just under 16 inches. So I will get that cut. I'm also gonna close the garage door so I don't have sawdust blowing in here and then screw that in with three quarter inch screws. <laughs>
I'm going to do this one corner at a time. So I'll make sure this one is squared up on this side and then uh, go down to the other end and screw that side in. That way everything comes out flush. The board seems to be a little bit skewed. So instead of lining it up, I don't know if you can see this. This, once it's flipped down, this is the bottom piece that goes on the floor and that's the top. So I put a screw in here, but the wood is not uh, perfectly lined up. So I'm gonna line it up with the top instead because I had it lined up with the, on the bottom. I'm gonna line it up with the top so that this looks flush here because as I'm doing like the, the final trim pieces inside the, the camper, I can put a trim piece on the floor and cover up any like small gap that's there. But when you open up the top of it, cause it's like a chest, um, I want that front piece to be flush with the frame. So I'm gonna pull that screw out and uh, yeah, line up the top and then put the other ones in. So you can see here that uh, it's not exactly lined up, but on this side, which is the top, that is flush. And then on the, uh, the sides as well. So I'm gonna get some more screws in that, just make sure it's completely attached um, and get some on these support pieces as well. So coming through here. And then we'll be good to uh, cut the top pieces. For the top of this, I'm using this uh, half inch sanded plywood and I need two pieces cut. So I have this one in the back and then of course the main piece and the hinge in between. So let's get those cut. Actually, before I do that, I'll point out one more thing. Uh, this board, just like the last one, it's already cut to five feet because I you know, made this from that same board. So it's already cut to length. And this back piece, that will be uh, five feet. So that board is actually, it's five feet long. But when I cut this bigger one, I actually need it to be shorter than five feet because since this goes up and down, I'm gonna have something right up against this uh, some type of closet storage space. So I don't want that edge to um, be all the way to the end because it'll rub whatever's next to it when I lift it up. So same thing on this end. It's not, uh, not all the way to that edge. So I'll cut the back piece first. I think that's five inches. And then once that one's cut, I can cut the, this board that I'm using. I can cut that to length because I'll have to trim uh, about three fourths of an inch off. Um, but this should be big enough. I measured it yesterday, so it should be good. Those are good. It'll pretty much be sitting just like that. So like I said, with this piece, it doesn't go all the way to the edge, but that back piece does. So I'll get the back screwed in. I'm using um, one and a quarter inch screws, wherever those are. There. And then we'll get the uh, hinge on there, which is just like a four foot, some massive hinge that I found at Home Depot. So it worked great on the other one. Um, should go on no problem. So let's get those screwed in. I'm going to put a couple screws into the hinge on that back piece before I put the like the the top of the drawer on. That way I just know that it's straight rather than going back and forth. You can just know it's straight on one side and then do the other side.
Beautiful. I'm gonna get some more screws in there just to you know make sure it's completely secure and then we'll move on to the uh, pop-up piece that's gonna go up here. This is a one by 12 by eight foot board. So just like this piece here, I need to cut this one uh, a little bit short of five feet. So, uh, I mean, same deal when you open it up, it's not like rubbing against anything. So I've got it marked and go ahead and get that cut. I have a bunch of marks I need to make on here now. And for reference, the top board is going to get screwed on to um, whatever those are called, those folding brackets, before I put it on like the main piece, the rest of it. I just thought like with the first one, it came out pretty easy that way. And I think it'd be more difficult to um, try to line the board up when the brackets are already attached to the larger piece. So I'm gonna do that first. I need to mark on the back side of the board, basically where these are gonna line up to so that they hit those two by twos in the back on the frame. And then I also need to mark these cutouts and these are used to, uh, you can't even see it, but there's like a little lever on the back of that. So in order to put the, um, like that piece back down, you have to hit those levers on both sides at the same time. So that's what the cutouts for. I need to uh, make all those markings, get those cut out, and then I'll get the, um, those brackets attached. I've got a few different things drawn here. I've got those cutouts drawn. I kind of messed that one up, but just redrew it and it was fine. And I have this thing where I don't like using pencils for some reason, I like using pens, but whatever. And then I've got kind of a T mark here where the end of that T is where the end of this bracket is going to sit. And then I'm just going to uh, use that line as the middle point because each side is going to get two brackets. And I'll, I can post a link for these, um, but on Amazon they say they're rated for 500 pounds each, which is definitely not true. But they still had some good reviews, so after reading the reviews I decided to just go with them anyways. So that's why we're doing uh, four total on here, two on each side. But one of these brackets is faulty, so I won't be able to get all four on today. Um, I'll have to return it and order another one, but I'll still, you know, finish getting it built and then just get that attached later. Something to point out here is something that I noticed while doing the other one. These brackets, when they're being folded down, there's not a whole lot of room for this inside piece to rub up against these edges. And when you screw it in, it kind of torques that in a little bit. So I just have to be careful with um, kind of how I screw it in. Just have to be real conscious of not uh, leaning it one way or another. Just making sure it goes on straight so that it doesn't rub when it goes down. So, and I got it to work with the other one, of course. So it's not a huge issue, but just something to be aware of that if that happens and it gets stuck, um, it's just because it's not completely lined up. So you have to unscrew it and kind of realign it. So I will get these um, hand, I don't know what you'd call those, basically the access holes. I'll get those cut out and then get the brackets screwed on. I took a break and the sun moved, so we're in the shade now. I'm going to drill a pilot hole for the jigsaw and then uh, get those little hand holds cut out. using these guides just as kind of a general marker to see where I want this to be at. When it's folded down, it takes up more space than when it's folded up. So even though I need to screw it in while it's up, I'm putting it down so I can see how far spaced it is off that line so I can put the other one as close as I can next to it without them hitting each other. So lining the bottom up with the line there and then making sure this is parallel here. And I just kind of eyeballed the other one I did as well. And uh, it came out just fine. So I don't think it has to be completely perfect, but I do want to get it lined up as good as I can. 
again, I'm just using the three quarter inch screws because I don't want to go all the way through this board. And since this board sits on top of the brackets, um, it doesn't need to, the screws don't need to hold up very much weight, but the screws that'll go into the side of the frame, um, those will be more heavy duty screws. So it actually holds it on there. And just making sure again that this is lined up. I'll put my next screw in. That's good. Nice and smooth. I decided uh, the one bracket that was kind of sticking, I'm just gonna try and use it. I think the weight of it might uh, kind of wear it in, I guess. So I'll put the other three on and then see how it looks. There they are. So just like that. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and flip it on its side now so that I can get those uh, screwed onto the front of it. So what I did with the last one, it worked out pretty good. This is pretty difficult to hold up. Um, so like, instead of having the brackets flat, if it was sitting up, it uh, it's just not weighted well, so it tips over. But I've got it lined up. I need this top to be a half inch off of um, the edge of that board. So I've got it sitting exactly where I want it to sit. And I'm gonna come in here and just, um, hopefully my pen fits in there. If not, I'll use a small drill bit and just mark some holes. That way I can pull it off and then pre-drill those um, and then put it back on, screw those in. And then those screws will hold it up in place while I put the other screws in. And my pen does not fit. that lined up again. screw's still a little bit loose, so there's some uh, shifting going on here, but I'll uh, get everything lined up with the bottom one. See how there's like some shifting there? Have to make sure that those are straight so the bracket comes down smoothly. I don't know how well I'll be able to show this, but this is what I was talking about with the bracket not going down flat because one of those pieces on the inside isn't lined up straight. But as soon as I shift this just a little bit, it'll go down flat. So I'm laying it down so that I can get those all lined up and square. And then as I raise it up, I'll just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't shift at all um, and screw it in right where it's at. good to go got all those screws in no major issues so let's uh, get in the truck see how it looks I think they came out pretty nice they fit well they both work good I'm probably gonna put in some uh, like little cabinet struts underneath those so you don't have to hold them up But for now, it's good. Pops up. And it'll go from two benches to being a queen size bed. I forgot to mention one thing as well. Eventually, I'll sand these down really nice and most likely paint them. Uh, but I'm not sure what color I'm gonna paint them or when I'm actually going to secure them in the truck. So right now, they're just kind of sitting freely. But eventually, they'll be uh, bolted into the floor as well as the wall 
because I wouldn't want to sit on that or like put pressure on it because the whole thing there's a chance that it could tip but eventually you know that'll all be secured and we'll have some other things on either side of it as well as always if you have any questions let me know um, drop it in the comment section or you can always message me on instagram at custom off grid uh, if you haven't subscribed already hit subscribe follow along with the build and uh see you in the next one